In this video, we're going to write the equation in standard form of, a, of an ellipse not centered at the origin. And they give us, it says, what is the standard form equation of the ellipse that has vertices 2, negative 8, and 2, 14, and co-vertices negative 1, 3, and 5, 3? So let's go ahead and graph this. I think that'll help give us an idea of what's happening here. So we have uh, 2, negative 8, so 1, 2, negative 8, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. This is one vertice, and then I have 2, 14, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, we'll go 14, it's about right here on the E. So let's put a dot there. And then... Um, we got negative 1, 3 for the covertices, so negative 1, and then up 3, 1, 2, 3, and then 5, 3. So we can draw this ellipse that we have right here. Now, it's a little jacked because I started to make these uh, much, much tighter than these dots down here, but these, this would be right in the center of the ellipse if it was drawn correctly. So I've got 5, 3 here. I've got negative 1, 3 here. I have 2, negative 8, and 2, 14. Now it's pretty clear that the distance between these two vertices is larger than the distance between uh, these two covers vertices. So we have a vertical, we can say we have a vertical ellipse, which tells us that our equation is going to be x minus h squared over, vertical ellipse is going to be x minus h squared over, this would be uh, b squared, plus uh, we would have y minus k squared over a squared is equal to 1. Now we need to find b, b squared, and a squared, and we need to find the center. I think we can find the center pretty easily here. Uh, we, our co-vertices give us the y value of the center. So the y value of the center is 3. So we got center, and the y value would be 3. And the vertices give us the x value of the center, which would be 2. So we have a center at 2 comma 3, which tells us that we have x minus 2 squared plus y minus 3 squared Now I need to find b squared and a squared. So to find b, remember uh, b is going to be the distance from the center. So the distance from the center, which 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 2, uh, basically 2, 1 of the co-vertices. And then uh, a is going to be the distance from the center to 1 of the vertices. Now. I can find this distance by simply taking 5, 3 and uh, subtracting it with the center. And I'm not going to need to subtract the y values because they're, the, they're the same, but I'm going to subtract the x values here. So I can say that b would equal 5 minus 2, which is 3. So b squared is equal to 9. So now I have x minus 2 squared over 9 plus y minus 3 squared over, and we're going to find a squared now. So a is going to be the distance from uh, one of our vertices to the center. In this case, it's going to be the y values that need to be subtracted. So I have 14, and I'm going to be subtracting out the y value for the center, which is 3. 
So I'm gonna say that a is equal to 14 minus three, which is 11. So a squared is equal to 121. And now I have my equation uh, for the ellipse.